how smart are mice? In this video, I'm going to show you some clips of mice and just showing how they can actually avoid traps, how smart they are. And this is the reason why sometimes you don't catch the mice and why there's different options you have. In this case, I had snap traps. And you notice the mice, they go up to the snap trap and they'll jump over it. So if I look at some of the clips here, um, you can see that they're running on that. The uh, You notice I put a snap trap up on the wire above because I knew they're running on there and they're also running on that little pipe. So this is why they can be very tricky to catch. That's why you have to mix it up with the trap. Sometimes glue boards, sometimes the wooden mouse traps. Sometimes you use mechanical traps, uh, catch-alls, tin cats, baits, different types of just different products. Sometimes you use uh, rodenticide powders and that's all um, used just to catch them, just to give different options to actually catch the mice. So it's one reason that you have a professional because they have many different options, different bait formulations, different uh, powders you can use. And see right here, the mouse, that the mouse is not interested in the trap at all. You can see he goes right up to it. And I think, I mean, I'm pretty sure I had peanut butter on there. So that's why I think they get, their, or they're smart and they get used to knowing that the trap is not good. So even if I change the bait or put some different, maybe a cotton on there or something different, I think they still wouldn't go next to that trap. So in that case, I would remove the wood traps and try a plastic trap, or I need to try sticky traps, mechanical traps. And there's the mouse again. They just keep going around the traps. And that's why it can be tough if you have mice in your home. This is a commercial account, but if you have mice in your home, same thing. You might put traps. The most common places are behind the stove, the basement sill, the attic. If you put a trap um, in the or, uh, on the basement sill and you're not catching anything, well, the mice might be jumping over. They might not like those particular traps. They might not like the bait. So that's why it can be a challenge. And here's a good example. See that mouse just went right up to the trap again and just went right away from it. So all night long, see they go right up, they know. See how he just went up to it and, and just ran away? So they know over time that these traps are dangerous. But yeah, so this is a good example or why I use a trail camera to see what's going on because sometimes when you're dealing with mice, it's not always easy. It's not always a simple thing, a simple fix. So it can take time, it can take some investigation. But eventually I switched and started using different traps like I said, the rodenticide powders, figuring out where they're coming from, figuring out figuring out their entry points, where you know the wall voids that they're living in, things like that. And then I can treat with a powder or I can treat with mechanical traps. Uh, Catch-all traps are usually pretty good. But again, just showing them the mice avoiding the traps. But thank you for watching the video. You can subscribe to the YouTube channel. If you're in the Massachusetts area, if you need pest control service, it's bugbullypest.com. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.